Hi everybody, my name is Liz Cerezo and today we're going to be talking about family health. As a mom to three kids, there is nothing worse than having one sick kid and two healthy kids or two sick kids and one healthy kid or one kid is doing okay and the other one just starts to bring home the school germs. Ugh. I speak for parents all around the world uh, that have uh, two or more kids is trying to avoid the the cycle that happens when one kid one kid gets sick and then either mom or dad is next or big brother or big sister starts to get sick and it just goes around and around and around the family that to me is the most frustrating part so if you're in the same boat as I am I'm gonna share three tips that has helped me sort of kind of control the germs that are passed on from either parent to child and most likely child to parent or sibling to sibling. Tip number one, stop sharing. One thing that I am so strict about when the kid starts to get sick is that they have to stop sharing everything from even getting the same water bottle or the same cup to drink to even making sure that they don't share um, pencils and pens and, and school supplies and even down to the toothbrushes. It's so important that they not completely stay away from each other, but, but there's an option for us parents that we could keep on tabs with the kids when it comes to them getting sick or passing the germs around from one person to another in the family. Tip number two is disinfect at night. Oh, this is most likely one of the funnest part for me when the kids are sick is that I actually get to clean and disinfect everything while everybody's already up in bed sleeping and resting. This is where I get the disinfectant spray or the, the cleaners, the household cleaners and just go crazy in the living room, in the play area, in the bathroom, just everywhere I know that the kids spend a lot of time, I go and I wipe down from top to bottom. Tip number three, as a parent, as a mom who is at home being with the kids 24 7 in order for me to get some sort of rest when the kids are sick i i make them sleep with me they're in my bed my husband get gets kicked out either to the kids room or into the living room but at least i know that the kids are with me whether it involves vomiting or just fevers and sniffles and drinks of water i prepare all that and i keep it at my bedside and obviously there's some kind of um, maybe psychological uh, health issues there in which the kids will be able to feel my warmth and have the comfort of them sleeping in my bed. And plus it'll give you peace of mind knowing that the kids are there with you and you could just touch them for fevers or you know just be there to comfort them and actually comfort each other. Those are my tips. I hope they help you as much as they have helped me during this cold and flu season and sort of kind of Put your mind at ease when it comes to the kids being sick, uh, maybe all at one time or even just one kid and help stop the vicious cycle that these germs could have within a household. My name is Liz Cereza and I'll see you soon.